hello guys welcome to another video of microsoft azure in today's video we are going to create action groups we'll set up action group and see how many types of action group we can set up in azure so let's begin the video to find the action group where you can create it first go to azure monitor here and here you can check the alerts you cannot directly find the service here in Azure for action group. If you search here at the top, you won't see anything here inside the services because this is not a service. So to create the action group, you will have to come here in Azure monitor, in monitor here. Here go to alerts and click on action groups here. So here you get an option to create the action group even your all the action groups will be shown here. Let me click on create. Here you have to provide the basic details. You will have to select the resource groups. So let me create my resource group. This is my resource group and you will have to select the region for your action group either you can select the globally available action group or you can select some particular region okay but let, let's skip the default one as global and here you can provide the action group name suppose this is my action group name and you will have to provide the display name what will be your display name so suppose this is my display name you can follow any naming convention which you can provide sorry the display name has a limit of 12 character so just uh, let me give something like this In this action group name, you can follow the naming convention, convention which uh, your organization has or your project is uh, using the naming convention. Let me click on next. So here you can uh, select the notification type. If you check here, you get two types of options, email Azure resource manager role or email sms message push or voice message so if you want uh, to send some notifications to someone when some alert is triggered or you have selected this section group in your alert rule then you can do that you can either email them or you can message them you can send sms messages you can send voice messages or you can send push messages as well so here you'll have to provide the email details if you want to send the email if you want to send the send the sms you will have to provide their phone number country code and all okay if you want to provide voice message you will have to provide all the, the, the details related to that you can enable the common alert schema if you want once these details are filled you can click on ok and your notification details will be saved here so that whenever new alert is generated uh, and notification will be sent to the user for this alert so this is how we use action group to, not to notify someone if your alert has been triggered for some of the resources in azure and the next important thing is to take the action okay so suppose your alert is created what action you want to take you will have to specify here you will have to specify what is the action uh, type you want to take if you want to run, run some automation run book if you want to trigger as your function when your alert is triggered you can do that if you want to send request to your event hub or if you want to trigger logic app you can trigger that as well you can 
run sub wave hook or you can trigger the lab or logic app something like that okay i don't have any logic app created at the moment so you can even add wave hook or trigger some wave hook url you can specify some url something like or maybe your function app url or some different url or you can send the post request from here okay so suppose you want to send some request here at this url i'm just writing an example of this and you can click on ok so your webhook will be added okay so this webhook is added whenever an alert is created uh, if you have added some notification uh, this will send uh, the notification as and it will take the action as well it will trigger this webhook if you want to trigger some different actions as well you can do that suppose you want to uh, trigger the logic app as well or do something else or you want to trigger Azure function you can do that or you want uh, any type of action from here you can do that along with uh, the first one okay so this is how we add action group uh, or action type in action group once these all are added you can click on tags you can add the tags based on your requirement and finally review and create so this will create an action group it will take some time to create the action group okay yeah, this is now created let me refresh this page and check if the action group has been created or not no action group is found let me check the resource group okay here you can see this action group has been created if you open it you can see all the details like display name location and all and you can see the actions here what action will be taken when uh, this action group is being triggered so whenever you attach this action group to your alert rule this uh, action will be taken basically the this uh, action group will trigger this webhook url after this is triggered okay there is nothing much uh, properties to discuss it in here here from here you can edit it you can delete it or even you can disable it if you want to automate uh, creating action group you can export the template arm templates and you can always uh, use this template to con either convert it to bicep or you can use the same template to create the action group with your pipeline or from local using the templates okay so that's it from this video if you have any suggestions or feedback please let me know in the comments if you liked it please like and subscribe my channel thanks for watching